scene behind us where you can see where the crowd of supporters is gathered waiting to hear from her. She holds on to a 51 to 42 lead over challenger Sarah Gideon and uh, she has been waiting for a chance to claim this victory we're told until Sarah Gideon concedes. It hasn't happened yet but here she is about to address her supporters. So let's listen in to Republican Senator Susan Collins. I want to I want to publicly thank Sarah for her call. We had a good talk, and I very much appreciated her taking the time to call. Let me say what an extraordinary honor it is to represent the great state of Maine and to know that I will have the opportunity to serve all of Maine for the next six years. As you know, during our great All of Maine bus tour, we traveled to, of course, all 16 counties, but visited more than 80 communities, put 6,500 miles on the bus, and had a wonderful time talking with people in their hometowns, their workplaces, it was a wonderful experience and one that I always enjoy. I feel that this is an affirmation of the work that I'm doing in Washington to fight hard every day. To fight hard every day for the people of Maine. And finally, let me say that this is an honor that is historical as well. I am the first person since Maine directly elected its senators to win a fifth term. So to the people of Maine, thank you, thank you. I will serve you with all my heart I will work hard for you each and every day, and together we will come together to work on the problems and challenges that are facing our state and our country. I am so honored to have that responsibility. Thank you so much to the people of Maine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's Senator Susan Collins claiming her victory after hearing a, a concession call from a Speaker of the Maine House, Sarah Gideon. You heard Senator Collins make reference to the fact that she's the first Maine senator to be serve five, be elected five times for direct election. Maine has had two senators back in the late 19th century who served 30 years, but uh, that was before the era of when voters were directly choosing senators. Now, these are the numbers as we see them with 93 percent reporting. Senator Collins uh, held on to a wide lead all night long. It uh, it got as high as 56 percent at one point last night, slipped back to 51 percent, but that's key because Anything over 50% means there's no need for ranked choice voting. Even if there had been, Sarah Gideon was so far behind, it was highly unlikely the math was going to work out through a ranked choice tabulation. We expect to hear from Sarah Gideon at about 1.30. We will be back to bring you those remarks as well. We also expect to hear from Jared Golden in Maine's 2nd Congressional District, who has yet to claim victory, but who has held on to a comfortable lead ever since last night. So we'll be back with those and uh, see you back here with New Center Maine beginning at 4 o'clock.
Thank you.